This is a mathematical model of tumor immune evasion and SI RNA treatment. I feel that this is a topic that hits close to home for everyone. We all have known someone who has had cancer, whether it be a loved one or ourselves. In this model, we are focusing on the tumors that are developed by cancer. The treatment is centered around the immune system and its defense structure. Almost immediately, the immune system can detect the slightest abnormality in the body. Cancer cells are one of these abnormalities. Tumors that develop are derived from one or more normal cells that have undergone malignant transformation. Adaptive immune response is when the body addresses these abnormal cells. There are four key effector cells that can abolish or hinder tumor growth. Two main important lymphocytes, also known as T cells, are natural killers and B cells. Natural killers destroy foreign bodies or abnormal cells that are marked by antibodies. B cells mature in the bone marrow and circulate in the circulatory and lymph system where they transform into antibody producing plasma cells when exposed to antigens. The third cell components of this model are phagocytosis cells. These cells engulf particles such as bacteria, other microorganisms, aged red cells, and other foreign matter. Lastly, cytokine interleukin is used to prolong the life of T cells. The cancer and immune response is the process in which the surveillance system identifies malignant cells and activates the four key effector cells to conquer the identified malignant cells. Here we see the process in which tumor cells are attacked by T cells in phagocytosis. We have concerns that even though T cells will identify tumor cells, natural killers will kill everything. This treatment is not meant to replace the immune system, but strengthen it. Here we can see by adding support to the immune system, we boost the defense against the tumor. The dotted line above the limit function is our max, the saturated level, where we see the progression of the immune response. These are elements in our immunotherapy model. The rate of change of effector cells. These are initiated by birth due to internal kin stimulation and birth by the tumor existing. These ultimately led to the birth of effector cells onto the tumor. The rate of change of tumor cells. We know that tumor cells went through the process of malignant change. This results in the birth of tumor cells. Tumor cell deaths can be caused by crowding and the immune system attacking. The rate of change concentration of interleukin we know interleukin prolongs the life of natural killers and B cells. So by the birth of the tumor, the interleukin is produced to help effector cells. Treatment can add to the concentration of interleukin. Its death is caused by the effectors using it to kill tumor cells. If we analyze our initial conditions, we will notice that the numerical methods are numerically unstable. 